I've often wondered, as I'm sure you have, what our planet looked like long before the reign of the dinosaurs. Well you see, millions of years ago, Earth was a very different place. All the continents were fused into one, teeming with life that was both beautiful and terrifying. Welcome to the Permian period, an epic that began 300 million years ago. I invite you to join me on an epic journey back in time, to a world where some of the most incredible species that ever roamed our young planet are about to emerge. If you were to time travel nearly 300 million years into the past, you'd find yourself in the middle of the supercontinent Pangaea. This enormous landmass took up one-third of the planet's surface, surrounded by a vast ocean called Panthalassa. The air might feel a bit thin, with less oxygen than we're accustomed to today and, well, you'd certainly need a warm jacket. As the early Permian progressed, the remnants of an ice age began to disappear. Pangaea was transforming into a lush world where plants and animals would soon thrive in ways we can scarcely imagine. As we move forward to about 290 million years ago, we find ourselves in a world shaped by volcanoes. These violent eruptions were altering the climate and landscape, paving the way for remarkable evolutionary changes. The giant swamp forests of the past began to dry out, forcing plant life to adapt. In these ancient evergreen forests we'd encounter some surprisingly familiar creatures. Cicadas and beetles, much like those we know today, were busy piercing and sucking on plants. But the most astonishing sight might be the cockroaches. Not the small, scuttling insects we know, but giant, bird-sized creatures. Yet impressive as they were, these insects weren't the rulers of this prehistoric land. That title belonged to a fascinating creature called Dimetrodon, a sail-backed apex predator that was neither dinosaur nor mammal, but something in between. As we enter the Middle Permian, about 273 million years ago, we find a world dominated by therapsids, mammal-like reptiles with strong jaws, sharp teeth, and a somewhat upright stance. If we were to take a dip in the prehistoric super-ocean, we'd be swimming alongside ancient sharks and primitive bony fish. On land, as we approach the late Permian around 260 million years ago, we might have a friendly encounter with Lystrosaurus, a herbivorous creature resembling a cross between a lizard and a pig, or the Cynodont, a mammal-like reptile that looked rather like a giant rodent. The Earth continued to warm during this period with average temperatures on Pangaea reaching about 25 degrees Celsius. But all was not well in this prehistoric world. The atmosphere was changing dramatically with oxygen levels dropping to as low as 10% due to increased volcanic activity. Temperatures continued to rise turning our lush prehistoric world into an oven, with average temperatures reaching 28 degrees Celsius. These changes were setting the stage for one of the most catastrophic events in Earth's history. About 252 million years ago, life on Earth faced its greatest challenge. In an event known as the Great Dying, approximately 90% of all plant and animal species were wiped out. Massive volcanic eruptions swept across the continent, releasing enormous amounts of ash that blocked out the sun. Without sunlight, plants died off, collapsing the foundation of the food chain. It was a tragic end to the vibrant world of the Permian, but also set the stage for the next great chapter in Earth's history, the Age of the Dinosaurs. As we return to the present day, I'm left with a profound appreciation for the resilience of life on our planet. The Permian period, with its incredible diversity and catastrophic end, reminds us of the delicate balance of Earth's ecosystems. It's a stark reminder of how dramatically our world can change, and how precious and fragile life truly is. The story of the Permian serves as both a warning and an inspiration, as we face our own era of rapid environmental change.